What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some fantastic ways to use alkaline water other than for drinking. I've got a couple different cups here with tomatoes. I'm going to soak these tomatoes in two different types of water, and I'm going to show you that even though you may think you've been cleaning your vegetables at home, you really haven't been. Watch this. Tap water right here. I'm just going to fill this up, let it soak. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now, as you may or may not know, there's all different kinds of things on vegetables that you don't necessarily want on vegetables. Herbicides, pesticides, insecticides, all kinds of things that you definitely don't want to be eating or feeding to your family. So what do you do? A lot of people rinse it in tap water, which I'll put here. But what I do is I rinse it or soak it in tiny turbo water. I'm going to show you why. What I've got here is some sesame seed oil. Now, I'll take a little bit of this and pour it in the bottom of the cup here. A little bit and pour it in the bottom of this cup here. Now, everybody knows that oil and water don't mix, right? Of course. But I want to show you something really cool. First, I'm going to take the tap water. I'm going to prove what we already know to be true. As you can see, the separation, the oil and the water, are separating very quickly. Once again, that's what oil and water are supposed to do. They're supposed to separate. But in this bottle, this is a good life bottle. This is a bottle that we designed to maintain the properties of alkaline water. It's dual walled, vacuum sealed, because uh, things that affect alkaline water uh, are air and light. So we keep it nice and vacuum sealed. We keep it away from the light, lasts for a very long time. Take my tiny turbo water, Watch what happens here. We've essentially just emulsified oil. Come on people, nothing else can do that on the planet. We've taken modified water that we've put through a time machine and we've emulsified oil. Now, why did I mix this demonstration with the tomato demonstration? Let me go back to the tomatoes and show you why. When you deal with tomatoes, you're dealing again with herbicides, pesticides, insecticides, but they're oil-based. As you can see, oil and water don't mix, so when rain comes down from the sky, it's not washing off these herbicides, pe pesticides, insecticides. Either is your tap water. I'm going to prove that to you right now. Let's just set these aside. Now remember, the one on the left over here is our tap water. We've been soaking our tomatoes in the water for about, I don't know, a few minutes now. And look at that, nice clear water. Watch this. We take our tomatoes that are being soaked in the tiny turbo water. What just happened there? Well, we've got a whole cup here full of herbicides, pesticides, and insecticides. In this cup, we've got nothing. So where are all the herbicides, pesticides, and insecticides that were on these tomatoes? They're still on those tomatoes. So if you're washing your, water, your vegetables in regular tap water or bottled water, you're not really washing them at all. If you were to taste this tomato versus the one soaked in tiny turbo water, you won't even believe it. It's amazing how much better your fruits and vegetables are going to taste when you remove all of these chemicals. This is nothing other than a cup full of chemicals that were on these tomatoes and are still on these tomatoes. Which one would you rather give to your family? The ones with the chemicals or the ones without? You will not believe the taste of clean, fresh vegetables when all the chemicals are removed.